When I got hurt, I don't know, man, like I knew what I was doing, you know, and I loved my job. I loved my job as an infantry guy. I loved being a squad leader. For you to join the military in a time of war as an infantry guy, if you don't think that there's a possibility that you're going to get hurt and that you're going to see bad stuff, then you're just being naive and ignorant, you know. For me, when I first got hurt, like I said, I was okay with it, you know. I mean, I was doing something that I loved doing and I was, you know, ready to die if I had, if need be. Now, after I got out uh, and we moved back home, I guess things slowed down and that's when I started, you know, going into like a depression and having trouble thinking about stuff and, and I've, you know, I still have my bad days and I have my good days. So. Being around other vets is where we're comfortable at. That brotherhood does exist, you know. After I got out, I started hanging out with a lot of my old high school friends and I'd get bored with it, you know, I'd be like, you know, really we're talking about high school football stuff, you know, I've been through so much other stuff, so. Being around vets is definitely where my comfort zone, I guess. So I would tell the younger vets a ton of things out there to stay involved and stay busy. Uh, so with, you know, organizations like Mikel, I don't know, man. I just it's it's a good good thing, you know. Three more, 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 one more, baby. One more, one more, three more, three I got two choices here, you know, I can either live my life to the fullest or I can sit here and be depressed and not live my life. So I choose the other one. I, could, I choose to live my life. I think I've lived more since after I got hurt than before.